Hi, and welcome to Live Tried and Tested with me, Irina, your host. We talk all things life, love, and share good vibes over a cup of coffee or two. And I hope you will enjoy and leave this little coffee date with a positive attitude and some food for thought. Let's begin, shall we? Hi, how are you today? I hope all is well with you. It's officially March and I am super happy if you can't tell already by the tone of my voice because over here in London it's been so sunny and warm during the weekend. It actually feels like spring, finally. Over the weekend my boyfriend and I walked around our neighborhood. It was so nice just to get plenty of vitamin D, listen to the birds chirping and getting all those good vibes going. We went down to a local supermarket this is the highlight of our week. I can't wait for lockdown to be over here in the UK. But we got some freshly baked bread, beautiful pink carnations, I just love having fresh flowers on my nightstand, it brightens my mood so much. And we also got all the ingredients for a perfect brunch, so paninis, mozzarella, fresh vine tomatoes. It was so lovely and I just get charged with lots of positive energy when we have clear blue skies and such beautiful weather. I just hope it stays this way. But before we get into today's topic, I want to share something with you. Maybe you will find this interesting. I was born in Bucharest, Romania and we have so many beautiful traditions. Some come from popular mythology and they use symbolic characters. One of these traditions is called Babele. This translates to the old ladies. It's an old tradition about spring renewal after a freezing cold winter, which was used to predict the future of farming activities in the countryside. It is taking place in March because the beginning of the month is really unpredictable when it comes to weather. In short, and in the modern days, this tradition is used to predict how the rest of your year is going to be based on the weather. According to popular beliefs and Romania Insider, you can find the link to it in the show notes, Babele is a legend associated with the story of Baba Dokia, who decided to take the sheep herd on the mountain as she thought the spring came. During the trip, the sun made her take off all her coats one by one until she was left with no coat. Tragically, the weather suddenly changed and Baba Dokia froze. Her death on the 9th of March represents the passing between the cold season and the warm one. All you have to do is either choose a single day, a Baba, from the 1st to the 9th of March and see how it turns out. Or you can add up the numbers of the day you were born to find your Baba. Mine, for example, is the 5th of March because I was born on the 23rd. If your birthday is on the 4th, then the 4th of March will be your Baba and so on. If it's sunny and clear, you'll be happy and have a very prosperous year. But if it's cloudy and dark, you should expect some problems. But of course, this is just a tradition and you don't have to take it too seriously. But I thought it's a fun way to begin your month. And also, if you are not from Romania, you've now just learned something new about a beautiful Eastern European country. And if you're Romanian, who knows, maybe you've forgotten about this tradition. Moving on, we have a new season upon us and it's a stunning one. Everything around us begins to bloom, from trees to flowers. I personally can't wait to see those cherry trees blossom in my neighborhood. It's going to be blissful. But along with the new season comes change. Have you ever heard about spring asthenia? Today we talk about the symptoms and how to prevent it with some tried and tested mood boosters. I know that for many of us the beginning of a new month means starting a new chapter, it's a new chance to maybe really work on that new year's resolution or start a healthier meal plan. For me, March represents change and transformation. You know when you want to implement a healthy habit or a new routine, you usually start by saying I'll do that on Monday or I'll start from the first of the month. I've been there myself, don't worry, but I think it's the hope that a new month holds for us, right? To be better than the one before. I personally tend to have productive routines and I like to change my morning routine from time to time just to make sure that I have a variety of activities and kind of not get bored of doing the same thing over and over again. But then there are times where I lack motivation and I feel tired and need to step back and reboot myself. For example, there was a chunk of time where I would wake up early in the morning and exercise first thing, then shower 
shower, get ready for work, do my makeup, so all of this before 9am. Or I've had a routine in January where I would wake up at 6 or 7am, do 10 minutes of stretching, drink my celery juice and read before work. But recently I couldn't find the motivation to do all of these healthy things I once did before work. I feel tired and I need to really dig deep for that motivation and inspiration. Simply put, there are good days and less good ones and that's okay. Did you know that often, winter is a season which really triggers seasonal affective disorder? It is a type of depression that comes and goes in a seasonal pattern and that's why it is sometimes known as winter depression. It usually starts in autumn and lasts until the end of winter. Symptoms can include sleeping too much and having little to no energy and overeating. I will leave a link in the show notes to an article I wrote on these3rooms.com about seasonal affective disorder products from lamps and alarm clocks to essential oil diffusers to really help you boost your mood and productivity. So, a form of seasonal affective disorder is spring asthenia. What is spring asthenia exactly? It is a constant state of exhaustion caused by season changing. You can feel fatigue, just an overall lack of energy, unexplained sadness and melancholy, you can be easily irritable and have a low appetite. You might be wondering, all of this because seasons changing? Well yes, if you've ever experienced this before but couldn't put your finger on what it could be, here you have it, it is a real thing. It's totally normal to have those leaps of unproductivity and lack of motivation, life isn't always milk and honey, but we can try our best to maintain a more positive mindset. And I know it's hard and sometimes it's easier said than done, but you can get there. Now, how can you manage spring asthenia? Something that you might not expect to hear is that the first step of saying goodbye to spring asthenia is to sit with it. We need to embrace those difficult moments, not ignore them or try to banish them. So simply sit with your feelings, write them down as it can help to truly understand where they come from. You can pinpoint what you're currently feeling and experiencing and accept those feelings. Then move on to what you eat. Foods that are high in vitamin C and E, magnesium, iron and calcium are best for this time of the year. So a spring diet could include plenty of raw fruits and vegetables, forest berries are amazing for this as well, nuts if you're not allergic hopefully, um, especially peanuts or almonds, fish and seafood. I am already dreaming of creamy seafood pasta, but moving on. (laughs) Make sure to have a balanced intake of dairy products as well. If you are feeling stressed, you can try to switch from coffee to green tea or rooibos tea. I've been drinking lots of red tea recently. It is a naturally caffeine-free tea packed with antioxidants and some of the benefits include improved blood circulation, healthy skin and hair, and it also helps with digestion. Make sure you go outside as much as possible, as March brings us one of the most beautiful times of the year, we need to make the most of it. It makes me feel so happy and content with life when I am outside and the sun is shining, maybe there is a subtle wind brushing through branches, I catch a floral smell when I walk past blue magnolias or peonies. Can you imagine it? It's so beautiful outside this time of the year. Until you put your shoes on and leave your home for a nice little walk, open up your windows to the max and let the sun shine in and all that fresh air cleanse your space. Do all of the things that make you happy. As I've said, I love having fresh flowers or house plants around to help boost my mood or cook delicious seasonal food, talk to friends and family, read a good book, meditate and journal, sing or listen to music, watch a binge-worthy series on Netflix and walk around in sunny weather. Just do all of the things that make you happy and raise your vibration. You will feel so, so much better afterwards, trust me. These are a few things that you can do to try and deal with spring asthenia and boost your mood. 
Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and found some food for thought. Don't forget to check out the show notes for more information on what I talked about today and listen to the previous episodes for five amazing life-changing habits you can implement in your life and you can also find what my social media detox was like and remember to choose your baba to see how your year will turn out and you can find me on instagram at irina jacob and on my blog at irinajacob.net see you in the next episode bye